Oh, this is just a crap. A walker to the the fourth book, the fourth video of the Joseph Crab, the story. Welcome to my story. I read the page and the last page of the last page of 96. And I'm coming on page 97. This is the fourth video of this book. Come back. Ali had lost to Joe Frazier, <coughs> but to many, he was still a champion. For long people, he was the voice that spoke against Villanelle when thousands of the, the brothers were dying in a war that Fu understood. He was the voice of Luke as no other Boston had ever been. Brad's outspoken, progression. Ali, even into his thirties, looked look longer than other fathers. Fathers often size each other up, trying to really belong the physical belt of the other man, trying to see what kind of heart is beating brief, brief the muscle chest. Ali, with his long face and, and expressive eyes, had a kind of looks which 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 even the minus zero could definitely. But I made a right embrace in Ali as a man of his times, both entertaining and unsoundable the quality and perform important of Luke to America. To black he was special for deeper reasons. If black was truly beautiful it was Bahala Ali in his funny and in his style. He posted he posted fire at that booty. If blacks were trying to attack at the Black Sea, Ali was the one who was chilling down the way to the front sea. Ali was turning longer blacks America away from bringing them uh, for down the whites. And in the way uh, they were insulting uh, those hosted uh, to the good whites. So the bond new position that deeper and uh, more on the you know, strength of the black community. Joe Fraser, on the other hand, was like the good father in so many black families. He did his job well and what did it. He took care of business, but smoking jaw like so like so many black men before him. Seeing a restrictor in his group scope. And his promise, he was he was understood and respected uh, in the black community, but was not the mobile long people wrestler to copy. At least Epitarius, his ability to confront authority as flu blacks had ever partly done, was what was what long African Americans wanted to know. His confidence in his ability. His abilities was a girl that had Udo Black Love, but he had lost against Joe Fraser, and that defeat was a loss for the nation of Israel, as well as for the foul from Louisville. It was 1971, and both Malcolm S. and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had been assassinated, and there was confused as to just how the civil rights movement will proceed. Richard Nixon was president, and the movement seemed as stalling. The National Association for the Environment of Color People, or NWACP, was less than to it, and Elijah Muhammad, now in his cities, was no longer too dominant and leader he had been. The deaths of Malcolm X and King have also discouraged a lot of black. People, both accelerations, still have involved social questions that indicated black literature could easily be put aside. Ali had not been a leader of the black community, but he was a strong and effective personality of one of the worst longer people could really could rally. The question was, will Muhammad Ali ever be a champion again? Red Smith. One of the nation's most restrictive sports rules and the environment 
Ali the Towers predicted that if Ali fought Frieza a dozen times, he would lose a dozen times. Ali had to accept what all fighters intentionally had to deal with. The idea that being beaten was possible. He realized two things at the deficit loss to Frieza. The speed had the speed had had the speed he had enjoyed before his loss had lessened, and there will always be strong lone fathers, fathers with skill and courage to cherish him. He discharged Gardner at his loss. Joe Fraser was invited to speak before the South Carolina gentleman, not for his win over Mahala Ali, a fellow father. But for his win over Muhammad Ali, the father who dared the war to deal with the piss blackness, Ali had always been close to his mother and his brother was perhaps his best friend in the war. After his loss to Frieza, he found himself terrified to show up his mother and having quiet talks with his longer brother who looked up to him and saw the mutts. There was always a distance between Ali and his father, and few and few wars were passing between them after the Faisal fight. Ali respected Faisal's ability and began to think about combat. He knew the long Ali would not have been hit nearly as often as he had been in the loss to Faisal. The fighting was metal imposing at one style over the other. Could change his style, help him prevail against the long up and coming fighters. Ali's most leader stress, the most important fight of his life, was resolved on June 28, 1971. On that day, the Supreme Court of the United States on modern knowledge reversed Ali's conviction on refusal in Dustin. The court found out the court found that it's refusing all these protestors for consistency in or Jackson threats. The drop ball had failed to satisfy which of the conditions the father had failed to meet. Since the government had conceded in its agreement before the Supreme Court that Ali had met two of the tests that his impulsiveness and it was based on his religion training as a Muslim and that was he was severely in the, his benefits. And then so that could have been based on either of those two would have been won by using it, the title of the flaw and the drug board's decision rather than the parameters of the stress itself. The court allowed the conversion to be overturned without Allowing a blank ruling which would have made all members of the nation of Israel able to see all stress. Ali now opposed uh, his 13th birthday and passed his physical prime, began to climb back to the championship. Ali's first fight at the freezer was against Johnny Ellis, his friend and spanning partner from Louisville. They have fought together since they were kids. There was nothing. Ali could do that Elias did not know. Elias was a good puzzle with a strong left jab. What he felt about Ali was a right hand until over the jab. They fought a number of fairly round, even rounds until Ali is separated the jab, tying in a perfectly with closer with the right hand that Ellis knew would come. Ali had won. The fight was stuck in a trap round in a trap one on a technical on knockout. The next fight was held in Houston, Texas against Buster Martins. Matches had been beating Joe Friesen in the Olympics trials but injured himself shortly before he was to participate in the 1964 games. He was the heavens of the box of the heavyweights, the bulk that placed between 220, 260, and 300 pounds on his six foot, three inches free. Bob had good foot 
and hand speed, but was an average apostle. He was also not de dedicated to a training game with Eugene, which was invented in his inconstant performances. I leave Fort Martins in November 1971. The subjects, the, the subjects maps was an easy target and I lead to an easy decision. However, the scene's portrayals behind less bastards I leave for being unintelligible without emotion in 1967. Non-con challenging him for going around the markets. Memphis. Ali knew that his performances in a way, no matter how good they were, would not please his enemies. Boxing fans around the world were eager to see Ali and Open and Bell posted that were available at home. Ali fought Mac Foster in Tokyo in April 1972, winning by last lost decision in 15 rounds. On the first day of May, exactly a month after the first fight, Ali fought a 12 round over George Club. Violent in Vancouver, Willis Crumbler, he won this fight by decision, and Drew Moore was more taught that he had lost the fire necessary to, re to regain his top form. But Ali had, at this time, fought 108 ultra fights and 37 professional fights. He had been in the position of fight again for almost 12 years, and even his men of fighting body could not perform as it once had. In 1932, he fought a rematch with Jerry Crowley, this time stopping Crony in seven rounds. Less than a month later, he faced all... Lee Lewis in Dublin, Ireland. An easy win was predicted, and only finally fulfilling it. Winning a technical knockout in 11 rounds. There were two more fights for Ali in 1972, each of them sent the fashion in their own way. The first was led in the other fight against in their own way. The first was led all foul against Floyd Patterson. Nobody is sat in Patterson to win. The fight, however, was set the fashion for Patterson and, in a way, for Joe Fraser as well. During his usual proof fight booster, Ali once again dangled in Patterson, the man who once claimed he wanted to destroy Ali because of his ties to the national of Israel, nation on Israel. Nation on Israel. In a long article written by Martin Gross and partly in Sports Illustrated, Patterson was quoted as having said that Ali was a disgrace to Boston and to his race. Ali's suspicious is open humiliating of Patterson was a violator of the unwritten war of the fight game. That follows showing at least partly respect for other professional fellows. In the Marshall War, in the Marshall War, Boston, honor was everything, and Ali took away that honor from Patterson, being him conventionally in several rounds. It was true that many of the black fathers Ali faced had joined the course of white sports widows who had put Ali down when he joined the nation of Israel, Israel, and refused to saw in the army. The Oracles they allowed to be printed in their names, and the statements they made against Ali destroyed any remnant of respect he might have had for them. Ali was a politician, a man, politician man. Ali was a politician man, and his politician sense was largely based on the history of the black man in America. The fight was Bob Post. The fight was Bob Foster on November 21st, 1972. Was an important chapter in Ali's comeback. Foster was a light heavyweight who had burned enough pounds to qualify as heavyweight. 
As a light heavyweight, he has been fast and had good punts. Foster's handlers thought that Ali might have determined enough for Foster to win. Ali won the fight on a knockout in an eight round, but not before before, but not before Foster had influenced enough damage on Ali's to con that fight the fight had been closed up to the knockout. The reaction of Boston inside was enormous. Ali's days of being being in a top contender with number at thirty, Ali could not survive the rain was for a very long. If nineteen seventy two was a lot less though there for Ali, nineteen seventy three was a disaster. He fought Joe Borger on the event on February the fourteenth in Las Vegas. The most notable event of the fight was Ali's World New World, a gift from Avis Presley. Upon the in which was in Boston, people's chair. Then came the fight against Ken Norton on March 31st in San Diego. Caught Norton, a former spinning partner of Ali's, was given little chance. Little chance. Upon a heavy Muslim man, he had the kind of defense and style that always bothered Ali. In the second round, Ali, in topical fashion, landed back for a punch. Dolce's firing up punch landed hard on Ali's jaw, breaking the bond. At first, he come in, he come in the man, didn't realize the rest of his injury. Ali didn't want the fight stop. The, p- the pain was all gnarly, and the fight was scarcer for 12 long rounds. The Norton fight marking a non display of Muhammad Ali's terminus, terminus, terminus courts. It took courts just to walk into the ring knowing that someone was waiting to hurt him, waiting to beat him senseless. It took courts, it took courts for Ali to face Sonny Liston as a 22 year old and Turned nice after the fight that he had joined the nation of Ismail. 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 The nation of Ismail. Which they are separate and separate politics. When he refused inducting into the armed forces, he knew he might very well go to prison. It didn't make any difference what the rules were. He was a black man standing and standing up to the authorities. Now, with his skills clarified fouling him, it took course to not four against Norton. When the final line started, one judge had Ali ahead by two points, another had Orton ahead by a point, and the door and the door had the fight even. Norton dominated the final round against a tie and hook Ali. It was declared the winner. After the fight, Ali was taken to the hospital. When the, he underwent a 39, 30 minutes. When he underwent 90 minutes of surgery to replace the job that had been broken clean on door. Sports words for the New York Post celebrated the victory. At last, Ali was getting beaten. Even though he was considering past his prime, it still made some people feel good to see him lose. Ali couldn't fight again until September. He was watching again with Norton. The fight was at, as close as it had been the first time around, but Ali had come into the bout in much better physical condition and was able to rally to beat Norton in the fifth and the twelfth round. A month later, Ali's fight little ended with an easy win over Ruby Lobos and Jessica and Donson. Ali falling on with his comeback against the back the backdrop of three major events in nineteen seventy three. One was the Keith Fowler event now. The war had been an unbelievable dawn on American resources and the reason for the war seems more and more distant and unclear. America the strongest nation of the earth had completely lost its 
direction. The ceasefire sought to get American troops, the American troops out of Vietnam with dignity. The North Vietnamese understood that America was tired was tired that America was tired of the war. That they were the ones winning the war on the artery, not the larger nation. The ceasefire negotiations were not successfully and the war began and the war began no new. The second major event was the Watergate Sing Scandal. For the first time in modern day history, a president of the United States was being investigated by the American Joshua system. During 1973, White House and Sign resigned and the authority attorney general was indicated. And there was talk of impeachment President Richard Nixon. A dull event far less important to those outside the Boston world was the two round knockouts of Joe Fraser by George Foreman on January the twenty second in Kingston, Jamaica, and other times in the long history of Boston. The natural consequences of Fraser's loss of the championship would have been a rematch between Fraser and Foreman. But past his prime or not, it was Ali who was still the driving force in Boston. Ali had experienced his own visible far beyond that on any other father who had even lived. Now, he had made albums. He had been in a play on Broadway, Big Time Buck White, and a comic book, Mahali Ali vs. Superman. And he had even had his mains on shoe poorly in a container. He had been playing hundreds of times on television and had been interviewed in dozens of the magazines. He had spoken to college campus throughout the country, country and had been seen with leaders from around the world. Foreman, the new champion, was best known for his 1968 Olympics victory. Another Ali Fraser fight was scheduled for New York's Madison Square Garden on January the 28, 1974. Smoking Joe vs. The Legend Had Joe Fraser been, had Joe Fraser been so badly beaten in the first match against Ali that he did not want to a rematch on both sides of the athletic rumors cook way little about Fraser's determination and physical detention. He had fought and defeated Mahala Ali in March of nineteen seventy one and did not fight the rest of the jail while Ali fought three times. In nineteen seventy two, Fraser took on Terry Daniels in New Orleans, and now in Omaha, Nebraska, one star though, did all the though these fellows were one of these fellows were the first rank and near often smoking Joe anywhere near the kind of money he would make in a mess with Ali. Those were rumors of contract negotiations breaking down, with Joe not wanting to give Ali another chance at the championship. And I'll deny and I'll deny in the fight for tax related reasons. None of these hell waters. In reality, both fellows were past their physical decline. The personal and physical well and tail and professional boxing was appalling. And both fellows were showing the unmistakable signs of damage. Black men suffered from his impressions or high blood pressure more than any other people in the world. Within the African American community it is one of the leading cause of death of men over thirty. Joe Fraser has has serious problems with high pressure. His high blood pressure. His blood pressure had been high enough to threaten a disqualification. Fraser's two weeks stay in the hospital after the Ali fight 
was doing legally in his criminal process and not sorry to the injuries he received during the fight. His high blood pressure stinging not simply for his belt and his stuff, but for the weeks of month or for the weeks and months of stress during training. The side effects of medication are for high blood pressure including weakness and sometimes even dizziness when the body changes persists or rapidly. Friesen knew that another bout with Muhammad Ali will compel him to train hard enough to possibly to possibly do preliminary damage to his blood vessel. The fight against George Foreman on January the twenty second, nineteen seventy three in Kingston, Jamaica, was a disaster for Fraser. Before the fight, he was scarily recognized as the world's heavy champion. That tower was still larger than an accessory, accessory was Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. The two round knockouts as at the hands of George Foreman stunned the boxing wall. Foreman had not been an impressive foul pulled to the Fraser fight. In 1968, he won, had won the Olympic gold medal in Mexico City, standing out by waving a small American flag. In the contrast, two other black athletes raising black gloves, hands in protest against what they felt to be the races in their own country. His match with Fraser was torn in enough to be just another other payday until one of his dominant right hands knocked smoking jaw loose from the tower. After being defeated by Foreman, Fraser went a full twelve rounds with Joe Borger in London in July nineteen seventy three. The rematch with Ali was a one for the last Monday. In January 1974, Monday night fights ensured a large television in the diners. Theaters were wanting to fight closed circuit, and sponsors was limited up with first, first, first four dollars. The only freeze of rematch was the fight sports fans wanted to see. There was no question that Freezer and Teaser and Dislike Ali. So there will be an air of advances about the week about the match. Fraser had lost to Foreman, but by the Ali had showed signs of real slippers, losing to Norton once and barely beating him the second time. At right in, the two fighters were within a pound of other each other with Fraser at two hundred and fourteen, won a pound lighting in the tail of Ali. Fraser had been six pounds lighter in their first match. When Fallen's recent championships love they or excited tacklers, they know what the man facing them is going to do, what his capabilities are, and they have strategies for putting up a good defense. The problem comes when a foul is forced into defense that prevents him for killing out his offensive. Just as Fraser had known that Ali would have to back up against him and lose his hand speed to counter to counter attack, Ali knew that Fraser would have to keep coming in and taking punches in order to begin his attack. The fight started in a predicament with Ali moving backwards, backwards, jabbing at the whopping and bargaining before it be had before him. And trying to freeze and not wear freeze and move aside all to Ali's longer weeks, freezer for his, for his part, moved front side to side, and drew bonds towards Ali's body. As the fight progresses there, with surface difference for the first encounter a corner in between two the two men, Ali well and wore his job. Other later High on Ali, for uh, on Fraser's forehead, and rested and less on the ropes. Fraser punched Ali's body, as he had said he would, and drew three heavy punches towards Ali's head. In the late rounds, when Smoke and Joy had come on scene, saw more many fights, 
and Tom Fraser began passing it from long ways, hoping to get lucky. And we was the clear winner. Their final was hard as badly as in the, badly as in the first fight, but it was actually that each final was all. It was all laid back. It was all was all laid back. Was he again the Ali who had been better, better from Boston from twenty five to twenty eight, and follows paid performances deals. People should have people who should have no better declaring that the will Ali have returned. He was the will Ali. Few people could kind of truly need the man to begin to know Ali. One first had to know what it was like to be black in a America in an America soft before the civil rights movement. Cassius Clay Seal had learned his place as a black man. He had learned that his place was in the back of the bus and in the color waiting away in the train station. He knew not to sit down and continue the rest once, and he knew that he would be addressing the addressing him by his first day to old be called a boy until he was an old man. At this time, he would be called Uncle. The bus line didn't run very regularly in the black section of Louisville. A dog who had cars in the news now, and lots of people, including Cassius Clay, wore bicycles, riding a bicycle meet and avoiding the humbling experiences of having to sit in the back of the bus. In the 50s, Muhammad Ali who had to balance his the surrogate of his loop with a raw opportunity. Not Boston brought him. He had to discover which was real and which is sustenance for him only because he was the heavyweight champion of the war. Ali had two seasons of war models. One was that of the weird special fathers, such as Joe Lewis and Uncle Moore. But Ali saw how American had treated Joe Lewis. Lewis had severe in the army, had done the right thing, and yet had still been forced to fight long after his pardon by the government not forgiving him now to see past his tax problems. Joe Lewis had ended his career with a hilarious knockout at the hands of 29-year-old Rocky Monocard. Ali witnessed the end of Oscar Moose's career and saw the Adelaide Achievement climbing into the way with men having his eggs. After the 1968 Olympic, after the 1968 Olympic protest, Jesse, after the 1968 Olympic protest, Jesse Owens, the speculation spread off from the 1936 games was called to speak to the longer black athletes. Ali saw pistols on arms confronting the long black man, telling them that race had no business in the Olympics, only to have the contour with how America had quickly discarded the most excited man in track and fear after the Berlin games had finished. Ali was a shell on the television days, as television brought the Vietnam War and the civil rights movement into the American homes. It also brought Muhammad Ali. If there was such a thing as a new breed of black man, Ali was its ideal, blessed with talent and determination. He was the voice not only a lone black man, but a lot of people everywhere, everywhere. Ali was also the generation that saw the assassinations of the Americans who had stood up for humanity. John F. Kennedy, Michael Ants, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Robert Kennedy. The four students protesting the war at Kent State University who were killed by National Guardsmen. 
Ali has spoke out against the war in Vietnam before it was politically correct to do so and stood up for what he believed in and was willing to pay the price for his bad beliefs. Above all, Ali was foul and to the lot of his friend and fortune, but he brought his body. He took the punishment, born the pain. It was the only way he could win, and under when others would have failed. He knew what was that sacrifice meant, and he especially knew what it meant to stay in the game that had always been meant for longer, faster, stronger men. Ali's next fight was scheduled for October 30, 1974. It will be held in Kansas, the cabinet is in. In Central Africa, it was with the will of Ali. Once again, the war was about to find out. Wombo in the Jungle Wombo in the Jungle Muhammad Ali was no longer at the top of his game. He arrived in Zera and followed with principal weapons. Spear of foot and spear of hand were following him. Newspapers flung around the world had spent reporters to the third largest country in Africa. Many believe they have come to witness the dismiss of the greatest. George Foreman was 25, a building of men who destroyed everything before him. Ali had suggested money against Norton. But Foreman, who had this models in him in only 12 rounds, Ali's battle with Joe Fraser had been classified on the donors, but Foreman had not Fraser senseless again in two rounds. The promotions of the fight had converted in the government of Zealand to put up ten million dollars, five million dollars for each fight, for each fighter. It will be the greatest posting in the his Korean history. Each fighter will be making a more than stars like Joe Lewis and Rocky Walter and on in and their entire careers. The entire of the promoters took to Africa to build the terrorist in interest, including the sword singer James Brown, legendary blues man B.B. King, and, and a host of other African American interests in Latinos. How can he help me when he can't catch me? Mahana Ali shouted in the to our modern crowds of Africans and reporters drawing punches as he went backwards around the practice ring in Zero. Big George Foreman put his practice of hitting the heavy bag. Wells, Norman and Miller and George Paulton of Washington, the long heavyweight champion, pushing the bat, they were all striking at his paw. Miller was an alternate boxing himself, knowing that he was dead in the bag. Now, Ali wasn't going to be doing a much dancing if he got hit like that. From a processing casting Ali, he fought in training partners who is summoning Ali's quick movements. He processed his weaving to angles, angels around the square wing. And technically he leaves a technique he leaves to use, he will lose to cut off Ali's escape walks. Mahana Ali was popular throughout Africa. He had traveled to Africa after first winning the heavyweight championship in 1964 and had been extremely profiled in the Africa press. And then it's artist describing him as a beast, as a beast, as being the one who defended the good cause. Forming a white civilizing dress and a little large German, German police dog. Then they had me a forming color of brown water. And to the people of Kensington House, police dogs were symbolizes and a parson. It was an unfortunate choice for forming. It wondered why Ali was so popular with the people. 
It was not only the foul one Zionist and the man, but only the man. They have read about Ali in international magazines, have seen him speaking up for black people in the United States, and had identified with him. In Ali, they, were, they had a world famous figure who was now mainly with their people, playing with their children in the streets or canceling. In Africa, Fulmi became a borderline champion. He had been the power of the benefits of the championship. Ali had outshot for me as he had anyone else. Ali, Bobo B. Ali, Bobo Ali, Ali, Bobo Ali. The crowd channel wherever they saw Ali jogging along the highway. It meant simply, Ali, kill him. He were he were two he were two black men, two male African distant fighting in Africa. But Ali was considering the real black champion, and the dark of four men representing the enemy. The documentary, when we were kings, the story of the fight, was being filmed as the fight approaches. A camel foreman tried not to embarrass himself. Tried to sound like a man of the war. Ali similarly was born to a chair in the New Angels, his death's middle. His daughter's middle. Did much better. He was the article one. The one who will be quote in the morning papers. Black people in the United States don't know what Africa is like, he said. And you people in Africa don't know anything about us. I need to change that. The workers work harder to make their polls districts. The entertainers work to bring their trans talents to achieve Africa, Africa, man and dollars. The Africans, in turn, were eager to please and to learn from the Americans with their high autonomous and regrets. Don King, the slate talking, Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Calling a promoter, had put himself in the center of the match, hogging it as much predicating for him for himself as possible. The match seemed at, at times to be in the endless speculation and entertainers and Miller. Then there was a major setback during that season where Spring's partner George Foreman was cut above the right eye. To have a cut that didn't have such a failure appeared, and then face a boss like Ali could easily have been the difference between difference between winning and losing. The fight was postponed, the cut was treated, and the two fathers resumed training as they wanted for for foreman to heal. The delay stretched to five weeks. Ali then the having settled down into the inventor. With draw wall factories. The air conditioner didn't work. Communication with America and Europe with telephone didn't work. And there was also getting used to African food, African, African costumes, and the lack of elections that Americans would lose to having. On Wednesday, October 30th, 1974, Finally, the morning of the Wisconsin fight had arrived. It would begin at 4 o'clock in the morning to come in a close circuit, television, and other parts of the world. Formy was confronted. He had Dick Sadler in his corner. One of the world's most respected trainees. It also had a of more. We knew of more about the fight game than anyone alive. Angela Dundee, in Ali's champ, was boy, but confident Dundee still believes in his champion. He did Ali feel. How did Ali feel? Just before the quarantine combat fight, he had confessed to former champion Joe Lewis that he was nervous in Zelda. 
he was nervous again. But he knew he would master enough the course to go into the way and to do whatever it took to survive. The tone of life in Ali's dressing room that was dead silent. What are, what are you what are you people so all happy about? Ali asked. The fact that was sending Ali out to his defeat with his pride, Ali will not go down easy. And he might able and he might able the worst beating on his life. Ali began to lead his people, people who had been with him for so many years. Angelo Dundee, Brandon and Brown. Ali's brother, Ray Hamlin, Fleming, Wendell Clay, Messrs. Lewis Seller, and bodyguard Rob Blood Muhammad in a kill leading assassin. I'm going to dance, Ali sang. I'm going to dance. The course was a sad one, with some of the singers on leap, almost rude to tears. Norman and Molly, in Ali's dressing room, took deep breaths as the crowd smelt charismatic long father, like a Greek in hero on his way to Panama Depths, singing his final song. Ali was then challenged, and he came out first. His encoding, his intonal moved slowly through here the home of after African night. The air was dead, the heat close to unbearable, the crowd shivering as Ali made his way to the, to the way. Black hands reached out and touched him. Ali entered the way and lifted his gloves fist half above his head, forming in his people jogging into the way. Former was the physical proportion, longer, strong, and cousin. It looked as if he couldn't get to the wing fast enough. He was the champion, he was the champion from whole Ali had stolen the respect he deserved. Forming banging his gloves together in anger and appreciation. Ali's violent chord seems more broader than anything else. And knowing Angel Doug D puts on the ropes, shaking out the floor, and being sure that all the proper equipment was there in case Ali was hot. The opposite strategy was for Ali to move away from Forming, to hold that after six or seven rounds. If the big man had a cut him with one of his tongue and his blows, the fight would be at less even. Fleming's fight had always ended within a few rounds. He never gone long distance, believing that no man could withstand his power. Fleming wanted to simply stay in front of Ali and hit him. Ali hurt at last until the little rounds. When Fleming's power would fade from Fleming, and he could prevail with his sharp punches. I'm going to run over and punch him in the face, Ali said shortly before the bell rang. Let him know he's in a fight. No, champ, no, Dundee screamed. You have to stay, you have to dance. Stay away from him. The bell rang. Ali was rushing across the lane and drew a white land at Foreman. The punch landed, surprising the big man. Ali stood toe to toe with Foreman, exchanging blows, beating him to the punch. Foreman's most vulnerable weapon, his crushing blows, starting from right way behind him back. Ali was again in hand of that win. It's time Foreman would bring his fist back. Ali would hit him once. Twice, three times, Foreman kicked his hands buzz. Drawing shoulders, less effort affected punches. The first one was a surprise to Foreman and to all Angela Dundee and to the dance of the spectators over a white hand over him white leads. White leads from a white hand of foam coming from a longer distance. The real Norman Miller observer. When you join in white leads, it's, it's telling you, your opponent, that you think you're a lot faster than he is. A lot faster. A right hand from leading a right hand on a follow 
as the travel or cause the body to land on the opponent. A quick left hand jab, at least fast as the best weapons, would have been the located source. Former hand Satan Ali to steal away from him, losing all the space he could to keep Alan head in ways and participating for weights, cutting it off the way, moving that got at moving that moving angles which will confine it and lead to that small space. But Ali in the first round stood directly in front of Foreman, fighting him man to man, giving him what he thought he wanted. But Ali was beating him to the punch. Former was taking more punches than he wanted to, but that started him just fine. He knew who had the hardest punch. He did. For George Foreman camping. You have to dance. Angela Dundee reminded Ali when he returned to the corner at the end of the first round. Stay away from him. See what kind of condition he's in. And stay away from the ropes. The bell for the second round rang. Ali moving quickly to the center of the ring. Beat Foreman to the punch but let another white right leader. And then move away. Foreman following him to the ropes. Fully accepting Ali to slide off and move towards the center of the ring. Instead, Ali leaned against the ropes, drawing light punches in the direction of his opponent. This was what became known as the walk a dope. No one has seen this before. A father standing still and letting a forcer punch unleash the fully full fully of his blows. For me, saw Ali clearly and knew he was how hurt him. And then he looked at me. For me, said he had that look in his eye, like he was saying, "I'm not going to let you hurt me." For me, how Ali where he wanted him against the walls. He couldn't hear Dundee screaming for him, for his man to move. For me, set his feet. Drawing punches intentionally to punish Ali's body. He was laying the short punches, but every time he tried to unleash the fully, full, full, fully, the longer blows, Ali will again beat him to the punch and make him cover it up. Ali was covering it up for most of his punches, letting that hit his arm, hit his arms, and gloves. He, and he knew other opponents he had tried to protect themselves against former strength, but to no avail. The next one came with Ali again, leaning on the walls, taking advantage of each time Formy reached back in his punches by sending a fully of blows at his taller enemy. Now, Formy was still punching hard, but not as hard as he had in the gym with his trainer holding the bag, and he was being hit more than he had ever been hit in his life. Ali's punches were sharp, damaging it. I realized then, I realized right then and there he hadn't bought his championship. For me, let her confess. The next rounds were repeats of the second. And when Sardis seen Foreman swinging away at a nearly standard on Ali. Since then, the end was in sight, Ali grabbed Foreman's head and started talking to him. Hit harder. Show me something, George. Ali hastened into Foreman's ear. That dark heart. I thought you were supposed to be had. Ali's supporters had their breath as Foreman palming away. Then, towards the end of the sixth round, Foreman's blows started to seem less effective. Ali was hurting Flooding harder and more often. In the eighth round, as frustrated Foreman again crowding Ali against the walls. He then he threw what he had left. It was not enough. 
and they hit the big man hard. And again, and again, the crowd was stunned as Flamin stumbled away, his hands falling down to his sides where Ali crumbling him with overhand rights and sweeping lefts, forming pistons falling onto the cabins. The referee picked up the count as Fermi trying to clear his head. Seeing the ring was filled with people in round celebration, the fight was over. Muhammad Ali had knocked out the French and long champion, George Fermi. That's all for the part four of this series. Now, tomorrow, we'll do part five. A career end. For day on, until then, I'm Joseph Crib. Have a good time. I'll see you next time.